Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of GGRC, where we're trying to keep good games alive. I'm RC, and today we are checking out Super Lucky's Tale. Now, Super Lucky's Tale is a game that came out, I guess, a couple years ago? Last year, maybe? I'm not really sure. But it came out in the VR era, I guess, like when everything was just launching. So this was a VR game, you know, you put the headset on, you control Lucky, and you're in a, a virtual reality world playing a 3D platformer. I didn't have any experience with it then, because I haven't uh, bought into any of the VR stuff personally, uh, but when I saw that they were advertising this game to come out at the end of the year at E3 this year, I was pretty excited, and for, that's for a couple reasons. One is because I have a huge kinship with 3D platformers. Uh, during the PS2 and GameCube era, I absolutely adored 3D platformers. They were the genre of game that I most preferred. Uh, when they started coming out with like amazing perfected versions of them like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, uh, during that era I was just in heaven. Uh, loved those games. But um, you know, the, the, during uh, the past, I don't know, 10 years or so, they've kind of just immediately disappeared. Like they're just gone. It's a genre that people do not create stuff for. And they've had a few really good ones come out this year. Obviously, Super Mario Odyssey. It's an awesome game. Possibly one of the best of the year, if not the best of the year. And uh, we have Super Lucky's Tale. I believe there's another game that came out called A Hat in Time, which I haven't had a, a chance to check out. Uh, they even put out uh, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy HD, which was one of my favorites from the GameCube PS2 era. Um, and I still own that copy to today, uh, but they re uh, they re actually released it HD on Steam, which is pretty cool. But regardless, back to Super Lucky's Tale, I love 3D platformers, and so when I saw this shown off at E3, I was super excited. Now, I have been playing this game a bit, I'm in the second world, and I gotta say, I'm really enjoying myself. Let's, uh, let's jump into the game here so I can show it off to you while I talk. But, um, I gotta be honest... I don't really understand why this game is not getting any attention and the, the press is sort of panning this game as well. Now, I wanted to bring up front that I am a little biased because I love 3D platformers, right? Um, even the generic kind. If it's a 3D platformer, I'm going to enjoy it. You know, there are uh, certain ones from the GameCube era that I, I have a certain fondness for and uh, people probably don't even care about. You know, there was the uh, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger series, which I really liked. Um, there was a KO the Kangaroo. I believe he had a, a game on GameCube that I actually really enjoyed. Um, so when I saw this coming out, it didn't really matter to me if it came off as generic. I, I see a lot of the press are saying in the reviews that this game comes off as like, yeah, it's an okay kids game, but, um, you know, it, the characters and everything come off as really generic. I don't know, to me it looks sort of like a rare game. Uh, the really bright colors and everything looks really, really cool. So in the game here, you play as Lucky. Uh, he runs around like so. He's very cute, and uh, he could do double jumps. He could do this cool thing where he can go underground and burrow, which is pretty fun to do. They they do have a few puzzles uh, based on that. Uh, you could swing your tail around up in the air and everything. So there, he's got a few uh, abilities at his disposal. Obviously, we can stop the camera too. You can zoom in on him and just see how cute he is. You can take screenshots and stuff if you need to. Um, but that, that is lucky, that's how he controls. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm in the second world here, and I am just, I'm enjoying myself, and I've had a really hard time understanding why the, the press has been so hard on this game. It released about, what was it, about a month ago, maybe? Maybe three weeks ago? And I didn't hear a damn thing about it. I was like, is this game any good? I'm not sure. Black Friday came around. I purchased the game for 15 bucks. It's normally a $30, $30 game. So for 30 bucks, it's already a budgeted game. For $15, this game, in my opinion, is a steal. Um, it runs at a buttery smooth uh, 60 frames per second on my PC. I am playing this on PC. Some of those who are playing it on their Xboxes or Xbox One S's, um, I hear that the frame rate is not so great. Uh, it's best to play this on a... Uh, more powerful machine like an Xbox One X, uh, Xbox One X. I'm sorry, I have a hard time saying that still. Um, so I've heard that there are problems there. But before I jump into any of the levels here, I just want to specify like some of the the higher up uh, uh, online game websites were really marking this game as low. So the highest one from like uh, one of the bigger places is a uh, Gamespot. Gamespot gave this game a 60 or a six out of ten. 
So I'm like, okay, I, I can see that. Six out of 10, sure, maybe it's not your cup of tea, you know, whatever. Look at these little worm children, they're so, <laughs> so creepy looking. Um, but then IGN gave it a five out of 10, and EGM gave it a four out of 10. Like, what? A four, okay. Let's play through this new level here, and you guys can tell me if you think this looks like a four out of 10 game. Because this is not a perfect game. Super Mario Odyssey, Damn near perfect game, and I don't think I would even give that game a 10. But this is one of the uh, levels that you would actually play through that's 2D. I love all the little additions of the animals, too. You see, uh, right to uh, Lucky's left here, there's a little owl kind of looking around on the fence post here. And you can actually hit the animals and knock them around. <laughs> and uh, to his right, there's a little mouse with a mop bucket hanging out over there. I, the attention to detail with the little animals, I think, is great. Um, I'm a big fan of Rare and their Viva Pinata look. For anybody who's played those games, uh, I've always adored those games, and I love the look of them, and that's what this reminds me of. So, at this point, uh, we're, we're playing a, a 2D level, you know, this is just a side-scrolling level, and throughout Lucky, you're going to run into different levels like this. There aren't, oop, got hit there. Uh, there aren't a ton. Uh, I've So far, I've, oop, as I fall right into, see, I gotta time that right. You gotta jump by that ball at the right time. Here we go. Let's get back over there. But yeah, there, there aren't a ton of these 2D levels. Uh, so far, I've run into a few of them. Uh, this might be the third one, if I had to guess. Uh, majority of the levels you're going to be playing are going to be uh, the th of the 3D kind. 3D platforming. So, we'll probably play one of those next. This is a new level here. I did not realize that uh, this was going to be uh, a 2D one. Let's see, we hit pause. We can actually see what letters we've collected. So there's actually an L. One of the clovers that you get in the levels, and uh, I guess before I, I uh, jump too far ahead, I should tell you, the point of every level is to collect four different clovers. Lucky is always trying to collect his lucky clovers. Now apparently there is an L somewhere that I just did not see or... Can I jump on this? Oh, I can jump on this. See, look at that little 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 trickster there. He had no idea that you could jump on this. Ah, there we go. Had no idea you could jump on this water wheel. There we go. We got the LU, but you could hit pause to see which letters you actually created here. Um, other other people who actually enjoyed the newer ukulele game might actually get a lot of you know distance out of this game as well. Uh, personally, I kind of feel like this is a better game than ukulele, so... I don't know, maybe that's me. Maybe I'm just crazy, but... It just seems more focused. Ukulele might have more in the way of, uh, personality. Specific personality, but... I feel like, gameplay-wise, this one just hits it way out of the park. As far as, uh, platformers go. Here we go, we can use our diving ability there, and grab some coins. Grab a couple more here. There's a checkpoint. Oh no, we're gonna make that little owl fall again. There's a C right there. There we go. L-U-C. One of the other things that I, uh, I actually, uh, watched one of the reviews from one of the reviewers, uh, who played this game, and one of their main, uh, issues with it was they said that the controls were not very good, and I wasn't sure what he was talking about, uh, for me, I don't know, he double jumps, uh, he uses his tail to switch, I don't know, to me, it feels like a normal 3D platformer. But maybe that's what he's talking about, I don't know if it's because, like, maybe the reviewer doesn't have the experience I have playing these. It feels pretty normal to me. His jump might feel a little floaty, but there you go. There's one of the clovers there. That's one of the secret realm clovers. So you get one for finding a secret realm. You get one for collecting 300 coins uh, in every level. You get one for collecting lucky. And you get one for reaching the end. Just trying to knock that mouse off. There we go. Trying to get as many coins as I can. You want to get these coins, you got to get the get up to 300. These gems count towards your uh, coin total as well. And really, if anything, I need a heart badly. 
Oh, there we go. That restored me. Perfect. All right, so I got to time this right. Oop, didn't get that right. Oh, another death. Oh, no. Somehow I made it. I thought that was death for sure right there. Oh, boy. I can't quite make it over that, can I? Nope, or, or over that. But this is why I should be digging underneath, uh, underneath it, right? Doing the wrong thing right there. Ooh, that totally got me. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Actually, I'm dying more in this level than I have in any previous level so far. Believe that or not. Okay, we're where we need to be. Okay, we're gonna stay under. And we're gonna grab these now. There we go. There we are. There's some kind of a switch under there. Real question is, can I somehow jump? What is the best way to get to that switch? I guess I gotta do some kind of crazy jump here. Oh no, I can jump up here. Okay, so I can fall and then I can use my jump. There we go. Ladder back up, and that's the Y. And there we go, that's another clover. Cool, second clover. Alright. fall there. I will say that was cheap. Where that was falling. Couldn't have t couldn't have known. Oh, and that's the end of the level. So we did not collect the 300 coins that we needed. So there's probably coins hidden out somewhere else. So that's at least uh, three right there. And of course... This is going to open up the next level here. The Soggy Boggy Boys, I think it said. Um, let's jump into the World Select. Uh, there are four worlds altogether. I haven't unlocked Holiday Canyon or Spookington yet. Uh, really looking forward to getting into Spookington. Always a big fan of halloween theme type of stuff in different games. Well, let's go back to the Sky Castle here. This is where it all starts. The one thing I will say about this game, though, is I have absolutely no idea what I'm collecting coins for. As you can tell, I'm about to hit the 5,000 mark with, there it is, 5,000 coins, but I'm not sure why. I haven't been able to see if there's a way to buy anything. Maybe if there's like an achievement just for getting that far. I really don't know. Um, let's see, what do we want to check out here? I guess you jump into maybe this first level. This kind of shows off what you normally are going to get in this game with the crazy 3D levels. Uh, and honestly, there's a lot of variety to the different levels, too. We just played a 2D one. This one's going to be completely 3D. This is actually another thing that uh, some of the reviewers were saying about it, saying that the thing that they didn't like about it was the fact that uh, you can't rotate the camera everywhere you need to. I've also seen reviewers saying that they hated that because they want to rotate the camera as much as they can. Um, so this is what you get. You get three areas to move. So as much as you hit the stick over to, you know, see more of the area, you, you can't do it. Let's see. We're, we're missing one secret clover in here. Let's see if we can get the secret clover while we're here. Now that I'm a little more experienced with what's happening. But I don't know. I'm I'm having fun with this game. I guess if you are looking for a super huge challenge from a game, this isn't going to be it. This game is not super challenging. Um, as you can tell, there are challenging things to do in it, and uh, there's a always going to be a learning curve with the controls when you play any kind of 3D platforming uh, game. Here happens with every single one. You know, honestly, back in the day, if you would have played uh, 
the original Jack and Daxter and then played Jack 2, there was a huge learning curve there because they completely changed the way the game worked. Um, one of the other things one of the reviewers said, I can't remember which one it was, that, that kind of stuck in my craw, though, is they were saying, you know, this compared to Super Mario Odyssey is just, like, not... You know, it doesn't stand up to it. And I'm kind of like, well, yeah, no shit. It's... That's Mario Odyssey. It's a Mario game. There really haven't been too many 3D Mario games that haven't been a home run. Can you name one of them? The only one that most people say is Super Mario Sunshine. Which is one that I'll admit, yeah, it's not the best one, but it's not a bad game. Um, and I, I don't know. I have a hard time believing that anybody could give this game a 4 out of 10. The controls, to me, feel pretty snappy. It's fun to play. It's colorful. I don't know. I like the characters, but yeah, I don't know. I apologize if this uh, this video here is kind of more chatting about how much I disagree with the reviewers. Obviously, I haven't finished the game, but I'm already about halfway through it. I'm probably at about the two-hour mark or so. And I don't know. I'm having fun. I guess the only thing I could really say is if you've read those and you're really not sure if you could trust them, I'm, I'm really not sure if uh, I would trust them either, to be quite honest. Here we go, got another gem. So we're trying to locate where there might be a secret... a secret uh, clover here, wherever it might be. And I don't think it's in here, but we can double check. I could have swore I've already done the puzzle in here, whatever it might be. But yeah, I think that this is a game that, uh, you know, people recently bought those new uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, HD, uh, you know, remakes or whatever. This game has a little bit of that Crash Bandicoot thing going on, and I feel like it's a game that you would really get into. Uh, if those are games uh, that you you like, this game probably isn't as difficult or as challenging as Crash, but uh, it definitely has just this, like, in, in my opinion, like really beautiful art style and, and you know colorfulness to it. It's a very vibrant game. Here we are in this side. Still not quite sure where we're gonna find this last clover. But what we're doing here is we're collecting these little golem heads to take back to this center area here. As you can see, collecting coins in this one is like super easy. We're already at almost like the 400 mark with it. I'm trying to bring this big robot guy to life here. But yeah, I mean... Comparing anything to Mario, I mean, that's that's kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, that's like saying, like, oh, yeah, all these 2D platformers aren't as good as Super Mario World, and it's like, well, yeah, I wonder why. Like, Super Mario World is only, like, one of the best games ever made, right? And Mario Odyssey might... It could quite possibly be the same. Oh, man, I think we actually found the secret. I hit that orb because we hit the one earlier that was in the uh, little statue's hands. So we may very well have found... There we go. Yep, there it is. The clover we were missing. Boom. Now we got it all four. There we go. We're making progress all over the place here, aren't we? Let's get the last golem head. But yeah, you know, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's put down every first-person shooter that comes out, too, because it's not, it's not quite like Doom, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's nothing like the game that came out in 1992, uh, so it can't possibly be any good, 4 out of 10. Like, it's, it's insane to me. Especially considering, too, that Mario Odyssey is, it's a full-price game. It's a $60 game. This was never claiming to be a $60 game. It's $30. It's already budget-priced. And I got it for 15 on Black Friday. It was half off, probably because it's not selling. Just insane to me. I, 
I don't know. To me, it's like, you know, not every game has to be this, like, amazing triple-A release to be a 10 out of 10. Or to be a high, you know, 8 out of 10. Whatever you're going to give it. This game, if I had to really, you know, narrow it down, for me, this would probably be between a 7 and an 8. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It probably could be a little bit more challenging. You know, controls, they're fine. Maybe they could be just a little bit tighter. But 4 out of 10. Hmm. Sorry, dude. I, uh, I can't get behind that. Even 5 out of 10. Like, come on. Who are you trying to impress here? You're crazy. Alright, so we got the missing clover we had there. Let's go check out uh, some of these puzzle levels here, too. I kind of want to show you like some of the variety you're going to experience in this game if you get to play it. Uh, over here, uh, these all popped up at one point. I think it was after I finished the second level or whatever. Um, but when I uh, went in here, I wasn't sure what to expect, and they're actually little puzzles. Now, none of these puzzles are difficult at all. Uh, these are very normal puzzles that you would have experienced in many other games over the years. I love this uh, sheriff, little robot golem guy here. I, I would assume he's a sheriff. He's a... Yeah, he's got the, the sh shamrock sheriff, I guess that's what we could call him. But anyway, he's talking about how he loves clovers, loves candy, all that stuff here. But uh, we have a uh, puzzle to finish here. So what you're doing with these is you're actually just, you know, hitting... I'll give you this one for free. Oh, not there. And then we get this one. We put it in the same spot. Oh, wait, no. That's not going to work. We got to hit this guy here. You're just trying to get these statues onto these uh, pluses that are marked on the board. There's one. And there's two. And there's a whole crop of those here in the first world. Uh, the second world actually had like a whole different puzzle, but I'll, I'll leave that up to uh, you guys to check out once you actually play the game. Now this one I've already already gotten, so this is another another redo here. Um, but let, what do you say? Let's jump into one more. Let's jump into one more level here, just so I can show you a little bit more variety here. Again, I don't understand the low scores. I really don't. You know, a lot of times when reviewers come out with their low scores, uh, scores, I can definitely see what they're talking about when I eventually play a game and go, okay, yeah, this is a little janky here. This is that. But I, playing this on Windows 10, I'm not having any trouble with it whatsoever. I don't, I, man, fully disagree. We're going to check out Golem Getaway. I'm just going to show you a little bit of the difference here. So you you got your 2D platforming, you got your 3D platforming. And, oh, you know what? I think I went into the wrong level. This is another 2D one here. Let me, uh... Let me go back to the Sky Castle here. Let me go back to the correct level. I, I, I want to show you kind of uh, something entirely different. Because there are a few of these different levels here, too. Uh, is it Lord Ember's Domain? Yeah, I think it's this one over here. And this one actually has a uh, clover for us to collect, too. So maybe we'll jump through and try to get this clover as we go. I'm not sure who this little cat guy is. He's like a ninja or something, but he's like constantly messing with me throughout this game. So this little guy's gonna tell you, hey, you gotta take me up to my my body. You're like I'm I'm lost from it down here. Uh, or at least the, the body he has was crushed. So you, I uh, checked out over here, it was kinda like, alright, what do I gotta do? We're gonna grab all the coins we can there. But then once you pick this guy up, it all begins. So what you're doing here is you, you actually, you can't jump. You have to sort of just maneuver yourself the best you can with this big head in your hands. And that's this whole level. You're trying to just uh, dodge everything as you go up. And you got to keep this head in your hands. So I believe you can drop it, right? Yeah, you can drop it if you need to do something. But they've designed this in such a way that you shouldn't even really need to drop it. There we go. Now we're up to the next level. 
So, I don't know, I really enjoy this kind of game style. I like how it goes from 3D to 2D to uh, a puzzle-based thing like this. I don't know, I think it's clever, I think it's fun. I'm having a good time with it. I really think that you guys would have a good time with it too. If you're into 3D platformers at all, uh, we're seeing a small resurgence in the genre now, which I think is great. Um, I've always been a big fan. Ugh! No way to avoid that one. I was not in the right place at the right time. Grab these coins. But if you kind of miss the, you know, the old days where you had the ability to play through a 3D platformer or just a really colorful, cute looking game that was a lot of fun. Um, and it's not, it's not all cut up on itself, you know. And you don't have to worry about loot boxes. How about that, guys? There's no loot boxes in it. We give it a, give it a better grade for that, maybe? Oh, don't get hit by this guy. To this point, I'm just trying to collect all of these coins that I can, because we have got to get our total up. We're going to grab this gem as well. Boom. You get coins for grabbing the letters? That's something I haven't figured out yet. Yeah, you do, actually. Man, I should have been grabbing all of those. Well, I might have to play through this one again, just in case, because grabbing those letters... Oh. Whoa! Whoa! I thought it was totally going to get me right there. Up! Go up! Oof. We got away from him. He put his head on the body. I love his line here. He says, this isn't my body, it's someone else's. Ugh, it feels weird. I like that. Why are you doing it? Who are these golem little things? I don't know. And I don't really care either. I'm just having fun. And here we are. Believe it or not, this is the same level. Uh, even though you get through that whole bottom area, you got this whole area up here to explore and uh, grab stuff from as well. You can see the main clover up ahead that we need to grab it. I'm going to see if I can grab another uh, 100 coins here and see if we can get this last clover here. We'll, then we'll, uh, we'll definitely call it. Here's a gem. I think grabbing all of those coins where uh, the little Lord Ember guy was is really going to help because I think before I might have bypassed all of those. Oh man, we're only 10 away. Nine away, actually. Alright, so this one, we gotta collect all... Oop, wrong way. Don't go that way. There's our 300. Grab that, grab this, that. There we go. There's that clover. We got the new clover. We got the 300, so let's grab this. Let's head up and get out of here. But yeah, I apologize, guys. I I'm sorry for sounding super sour in this uh, checking out video here. Um, it just really gets to me when games are unnecessarily panned for no reason. This game, I, I think, is a, a great little gem of a game, and it might be one that I come back to every now and then just to play and have fun with. Because it, it's it's just a fun platformer. It's a great, like, palate cleanser between, like, really hardcore games, you know? And I've always had a soft spot in my heart for 3D platformers, as I, as I probably mentioned a good ten times now at this point. <laughs> but, man, yeah, it just really gets to me. But, uh, you know, hey, if this looks like a game you would like, I recommend checking it out. Um, if it doesn't look like a game you would like, uh, that's totally cool. You know, I know normally we cover more, uh, gritty games on this channel and everything here, but always gonna have a place in my heart for games like this, but there you go. Let's, let's end it by Lucky hanging out with his bros at the, the fire here. Let's have a s'more, and I will see you all next time on GGRC.